Welcome back. WhatsApp is now rolling out communities for Android, iOS, and web users. The new feature helps people to connect with groups that matter to them. In this video, we're going to look at what is WhatsApp community, how it works, and how to create your own community. If this finds useful, stick till the end and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Let's begin. To create a WhatsApp community, users should click on the community tab and then click start your community button. Enter a name and description along with a profile picture for your community. Once this is done, you will be in the community window. You can now create new groups here or add existing ones, both of which will have a dedicated button. If you are adding existing groups, you will also need to be an admin of those groups. In the list of groups below, you will also see one group by default. This is the announcement group. Tap on the tick mark on the bottom right when you are done and your community is ready. Note that when you add existing or new groups to a community, all members are also added to the announcement group of that community. As an admin of a community, users will be able to send messages to all the individual groups of the community as well as the announcement group. Any text sent in the announcement group will be broadcasted to all the groups in the community and hence to all members. The same is applicable to media files, documents, and voice notes. Admins can also share a link of the community if they want to invite other people to join. These users can then follow the link to be a part of the community but cannot join individual groups until they are let in by the admin of the community or group. Admins can also add more admins to make announcements or execute other actions when you are not around. All members of a community have access to the announcement group where they can see files, media, and text message announcements from central admins. If a member is part of a community but not of any group within it, they can browse the various groups in the community and ask to join the relevant groups. After opening the community window, users can tap on one of the groups listed in the community to request to join it. A member who already is part of a group can always ask to get added to more groups within the same community using the same method. You can also exit the community to exit the larger community group, the announcement channel, and all subgroups in a single step. Alternatively, if you just want to exit a group but still be a part of the community and its announcement channel, you can do that by individually leaving each group you are part of, but not the community. This way, you will not be in any group, but will still be a part of the community and have access to the announcement channel. This might confuse some of them. Just explore it to get better clarity on the WhatsApp community feature. That's the video guys. Hope it is useful and if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.